Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, Moramai, and welcome to Autumn Day 1 here in Sussex at the Basement Farm. Hopefully today we're going to be able to harvest our field. So the first thing I'll do is go and look at that whilst I am jogging that way, because this is walking speed. This is jogging! Uh, I'm going to start slicing the episodes up and doing them twice, uh, twice a week, just because half an hour of me wittering on is probably too much for anyone. Uh, it's certainly too much for me. When I've been editing, I've been trying to cut it down to below half an hour, but it's it's just uh, just too much, I'm afraid. So, Well, here we go. The wheat is, as we see in the bottom right, ready to harvest. Oh, missed. Our wonderful tool tells us that the crop moisture is 19%, which, whilst quite high, is okay to harvest. So let's do that. Um, first thing we need to do is, well get rid of that so we can start jogging again. We are going to groove down to the shop. We're going to hire a harvester. We're going to hire... Uh, you know what I can do with a run around. What have they got in? They got anything sensibly cheap down there? Yeah. Ooh, 17. I might get one of those. I like those little fellas. Um, yeah, I'll go down in the tractor for today though. Oh, it's got it. Because I want to sell that little harvester. There we go. That's that solved. So, we're going to groove down the shop. We're going to get a proper baler. And we are going to hire the harvester. Get those both back here. Start harvesting. And then we'll see where we get to. Um, don't know what the weather forecast is like today. Let's have a quick look at that. It says it's, we're going to have to be done by about 3 o'clock. So, right, let's... Uh, Get a wiggle on there, then. Okay. Righty ho. So that seems to be that. Once we've got the harvesting underway, uh, looking at the time, I might need to get a man in to do the harvesting for us, or we bail. Oh, I need a bale trailer as well. Oh, oh, oh it's all added up. Right, we'll figure that out later anyway. Uh, what I might grab is an auto load bale trailer, just in terms of getting it done. They're handy because you can stack. So which means I'll need a bail for it. Ooh, it's all ticking over. That's where the money goes, people. So I don't think we'll have time for any contracts today. Maybe this afternoon in the second half. So, right. That way, across the grass. And here's where our uh, trusty tractor struggles up the hill. Make sure there's nobody coming. Let's see, there was. I'm coming down. No, good times. Right, let's get up there. Uh, the good thing when you're hiring stuff is uh, you don't need to bring it back. You can just tell them you're finished and they'll come and pick it up when they're passing. Which is always a good thing. So there we go. And if this year seems, this year seems to go okay pretty quick. Maybe I'll look at getting a second field next year to make some money off ourselves rather than other people. But that is plans for the spring. Who knows what's going to happen over the winter. We may yet get snow. Right, first of all then, let's get this baler dropped off in here. Whilst the small bales were all well and good, with no way to stack them, it was getting a bit silly. stacking them by hand, as you saw. Kind of, um, yeah, I, I, I don't have the patience for that sort of thing. Oh, okay, let's repair it for a fiver, sell it for 34. Well, that will do, that will do. Always worth bringing it down as you, I think you get a, a sort of uplift, or rather you get penalised if you don't take it up. Right, so harvester-wise, well, in our previous series, we had uh, we had the case. Oh no, we had the New Holland to start, didn't we? Good old yellow fella, and we upgraded to that John Deere there. So let's see if we can grab something a little bit different. Oh, that looks quite nice. Quite expensive though. Is there a halfway between those two? About 150. Let's look at the prices instead. Ooh, yes. Let's get a class one. Why not? Oh, the four strip ones are. A lot of fun if you're buying. 
Yes, let's get that class one. Fantastic. The Dominator. And what fits it? The 510. It says it should handle the crop we've got. So let's go in and do that. I don't really want to change the colour. That seems pointless for a... Uh... Not sure it did anything. No. Oh, well. Okay, we'll lease that as it is. 7,000 will do. Thank you. Let's get ourselves a header as well. Because there's no point in uh, getting a harvester if you ain't got nothing to harvest with. There we go. That's the one we're after. Fantastic. Lovely. Uh, so, we would also like a baler. Uh, which are over here. Get a square one. What sort of round square? 114. They're quite big fellas, these square balers, but uh, it's a lot easier. That needs 230. We'll never pull that one. Do you need 160? Oh, let's get the 141, I think. We have got half a chance of pulling that. Ah, we'll lease you as well. Good. Uh, the good thing is you can just run around after the uh, after the harvester. That is a big fella, isn't it? I have to make sure we're on our bigger tractor, which got the upgrade for it. But do I need a... Uh, I need a trailer to take that to the farm. Oh my gosh. Didn't consider that, did we? Probably that 24 would do. Oh, there you go. That fits perfectly. Even the right one. So let's get the combine up to the farm. Get that started. I'll catch a lift back into town to grab the baler. Uh, yes, to grab the baler. Okay, let's see if we can get this lined up without looking. Ooh. See, it's nine o'clock already. Timing could be tight for that thunderstorm to kick in at three. down. There we go, that's on there nicely. Okay, we better put our flashy things on, haven't we? Okay, so let's click you on there. Right, and in an effort to keep to time, let's time that's our way back up because it's only driving. I'll see you there. We can get in front of that car. Cool. And so, here we are. Let's drop you off there, pick the header up and get ourselves going. It's already 10 o'clock, so... I don't know... how successful this is going to be before the rain kicks in. But oh my gosh, let's try and get that done. Let's get that harvested. Get that. We do want to keep our straw. that sticking out. Okay, so here we go. And when we've started up, let's turn it on. Get ourselves going. Fantastic. And there's our straw dropping out the back as well. All ready to bale. 
that's one thing we will just do on this job. Uh, we'll jump back down to the shop, bring the baler up. I'll worry about a bale trail L uh, later. Because uh, I can't bring them both back. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can, because I got a new trailer. Okay, Mr. Worker, get to work, my friend. Do all of that good stuff. Right. Should have taken the truck down after all. I don't need a bale trailer necessarily. Because I have our new flatbed. Where did I park the truck? Have I lost my truck? Oh no, there it is. My gosh. Okay. So, let's have a quick jump cut down to the shop where I will get the... I will get a bale trailer somehow. But I'll do that later, and I'll bring it back with the... I didn't take the trailer after all that. Never mind. In that case, this is wasted time. Let's turn this around. Get ourselves down to the shop. Anyone, uh, anyone come in here? Highly illegal manoeuvre. But hey, who's actually watching? Also, there's no police here, so that's okay. Uh, okay, let's pop back to the shop, get the baler, get the heck bailing uh, whilst we can. And then figure it out later, and I suspect that is going to lead us into part two by the time that happens. So, good. Right, you park yourself under here so I remember where you live. And then let's literally jump cut down to the shop, like this, not like that. But like that, there he is. That is the 650, which I think is right. Uh, yes, I got the 650, which is slightly bigger. So that's okay, I think. Yes. Oh, it's 185. There's loads to go on there. So let's get you up and get you moving. Check your relative speed, because I might be able to make a start straight away. Fab. And then I'll come down with the truck and get a bale trailer, hopefully an auto load just to make sure that it happens. 11 o'clock, game time already. Doesn't time fly? Whoa, steady now. Put our flashes on anyway. He's cost us 53 quid already. Uh, now, this crop um, will mostly be used for chickens. Uh, we're going to take care of the animals later on. So yes, mostly going to be used as chicken feed. I'll keep enough for a year. Because the chickens is. There we go, they're low there. They barley. So we'll do some barley in the next field uh, next time. That's why I need a second field, you see. Or a third, if you count the grass one. Um, but, uh, so I'll keep enough to feed them for a calendar year because it tells us how much they were expected to eat. Did it not? Yes, it did. About 2006. And we'll sell the rest. You know what else I need to get? Oh my gosh. Need to get something to carry the wheat in. Oh my gosh, this is all going a little bit much, isn't it? Um, going to bale the straw. It should be dry enough to do. Straight away. Ugh, that was a bit laggy. So yes, I'm going to bale the straw uh, and keep it. I might sell some bales, but then I might go and go ahead and get some cows in. Right. So we can't bale straight away because I need something. Uh, you can't use a worker when you're baling. Well, let's do one anyway. We'll do one stretch to see how it looks. There we go. We're not going to get a massive 
amount of big bales going on here. So maybe it's worth doing them by hand. Uh, but yes, I need a little trailer to uh, grab, surprisingly, the wheat that uh, is being harvested. Let's give that a bit of that. Nice wide turning circle. There we go. So first one's coming out. What I will do... There we go, look, hello. And he'll just jump out of the end. Thus, and fall over, because why wouldn't you? Right in the way of where we need to be. He's nearly full, so I need to get a grain thing for him. Okay, so, right. Don't fall out there. Nobody needs you to fall out there, son. Right. So we'll leave you parked there. I'm going to pop down. Grab ourselves a trailer. And I think I'll buy the trailer because at some point we're going to need it for, well, stuff. Let's be honest with ourselves. There we go. I've got a few bales out as well. Right. Let's leave you there for now where you're not going to be in anybody's way. Jump in the truck. So I need two trailers, one of which needs to be an autoload. Okay. Right. So, I think that might just about see us for this episode, give or take. It's coming up to midday game time, so that seems quite a good time to stop. Uh, we've done five hours since the morning. There we go. Grand. So another five would take us to five o'clock at night, which is probably a good time to stop. Yes. Right. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll uh, fade in, fade out to the next episode, and we'll see you then. Uh, likes, subscribes, comments, feedback, etc. All hugely appreciated without even mentioning it. And uh, yes, I will catch you on... When am I going to put this out? If I put this out on a Tuesday... Then the next one can be Friday. Yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays. That will do us. Okay, catch you Friday. And thanks again. Bye for now. Bye.